Hi, I'm Jules Mitchell. Welcome to Udaya.com. Today's teaching tip is Upavishta Konasana, one of my favorite postures. It's just a seated, wide-legged straddle. You can add a forward bend, but sometimes even just getting to this position is challenging for people. So I've got Linnea here, Hillary, and Molly, and we're going to show you some obstacles that they encounter in the poses. And then I'm going to give them specific props to help them get more out of the pose, to find a more skillful Upavishta Konasana. And then you can try them at home, see which ones you like best, and you can just let us know what you liked. So let's go ahead and show them the poses first. So all three of you, I'm going to have you just come into Upavishta. I'm going to do a little bit of explaining about them. I'm going to grab a prop that I already know I need. <laughs> so Molly here is just pretty much stuck. She's actually working with some anatomy issues, meaning she's just... She's at her end range. The shape of her bones are not really letting her go any further. So she's got bone on bone compression pretty much. So we're going to work on getting, giving her some really lovely assists so she can still feel great in the pose and not feel like she's you know, getting nothing out of it. So go ahead and relax. I'll come back to her. Hillary's got some SI stuff going on on her right side. To avoid that, she rolls her right leg in. Nothing wrong with the compensation for doing that. Not really a bad thing, but it's not a skillful version of the pose. She's not really ever going to get change out of this, and what we're looking for is change. So come on out, and we'll come back to you. Linnea requested this pose because she loves it so much. Um, and this is actually the, the pose that's on like the top of my website because I just love it so much as well. Um, sometimes we come to this pose and we just use flexibility, which Linnea has, as you can see. She's just taking her legs as wide as they go. Can you actually fold forward? Can I see what that looks like for you? So this is how my version is. She's just like, she can flop forward. There's not a lot of sensation here, I'm guessing. So I'm going to have her come on up. We're going to make her work harder in the pose. And so what I'm doing is taking this 10-foot belt. I'm going to loop it around her big toe. Loop it around her big toe. <laughs> And now what she has to do is she has to hit out on the belt, so increase the tension on the belt. And what that's doing is it's activating the abductors. So all of the musculature on the outside of the leg is getting strong. This is actually a really good variation for your students that don't have a lot of abduction. Um, you can keep working on that. But I'll just give an example. Do you ever see students where you ask them to come into Warrior Two, and they step wide and they don't have abduction, and so they go into extension to make up for it in the back? So this would be a really good preparatory pose for them to help them get more range in abduction. You want to stay like that? <laughs> just kidding. We need to go over there so we can work with Hillary. Um, I need a blanket. Will you grab me a blanket while you're up? Thanks, Molly. Um, I'm going to have you turn, sorry, turn around, yep, so we can see the back. So when we were preparing for this, I, you know, kind of was like, what's going on, Hillary? And she want, really wanted to get out of this discomfort and roll in. So I asked her to just come out of it just a little bit, so she's not pushing at her end range, so her legs would come in just a tiny little bit. And then I just took a blanket and I, from this position, and so now she's not rolled in, and I could see there was a little imbalance here. She's really sitting on her right sitting bone and not so much on her left. And so what I did was I just stuck a little wedge of blanket, not much, really, it's just so much, really, and put it underneath her right sitting bone. Is that okay? <laughs> you want a little bit more height or is that good? No, it's good. So all I did was take her pelvis and by elevating the right side, which was lower, it just shifted her positionally, and now she doesn't need to internally rotate. So she's happy here, yeah? <laughs> Happier. <laughs> Happier. You've also got a little compression in here, yeah. So that would be really what my work for you would be, to really try to push these top thighs down. And so my adjustment for you would be to come here, press down, and I would give you this. Do you feel that? Okay, so that's where you're really kind of lacking, getting that posterior glide. So when the hip goes into flexion, the femur glides posteriorly in the acetabulum, and that's kind of what was, what's missing for you. So we'd work out on that in another pose. But at least we got the SI discomfort out. Great. Okay. Um, now face the same way as Hillary did. So this is really Molly's, the end of uh, Molly's end range. And I think one time you were in a class, I brought you to a wall and had you walk your hands up the wall so at least you could get lift. But with nothing to grab onto, it's not really that successful. So I'm going to do it for her. So I'm going to have her put her hands on my shoulders. 
I'm going to step forward. I'm taking care of myself, right? So I'm in the lunge and I'm protecting my back. I'm going to reach forward. I'm going to hold on to her shoulder blades. I'm going to ask her to take a deep breath in. And I'm going to exhale. I'm going to lean back and lift her up. You okay? So I'm giving her traction, tractioning her up through the spine and also through the hips. And she can do all the work, push the top thighs down. And I'm talking and I'm not breathing and I'm getting tired. So I'm going to let her down. <laughs> but normally I wouldn't do this at the end of a long day of filming when I work with clients. And I'd make sure that I had the strength to maintain it for a good five, six, seven, eight breaths, something like that. So go ahead and give them a try. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time on udaya.com. Namaste.